everyone. Welcome back to Dance Colleges and Careers, the podcast for dancers to help you navigate that college application process. My name is Brittany Oltemeyer, and I am your host. This is the start of season two. Season one was about interviews and talking to very specific schools about their specific programs. It was really helpful, really awesome. Definitely go check out some of those episodes if you're deciding between a couple different schools or if you want to learn about some schools. This podcast is here to help you save time. Yes, I've been in your shoes. You are you are the busiest. I know you are. You're a high school senior. You're in every activity. You have dance a million hours a week and you have events every single weekend all while trying to get into college and you're just trying to keep the peace at home. And it's getting difficult, right? It's getting difficult because things are stressful. And the more stress, the less fun that senior year can become. Let's dive in to help alleviate some of the stress for your senior year. I want to tell you my story. I'm the youngest of five, and I grew up in a small town in North Dakota, way out in the country. My dad's a farmer, and my mom owned the dance studio, so I have been a studio kid my entire life. When I was in middle school, I started going to dance intensives every summer. I'm really, really thankful for that because it was very hard to gain diversified training in my small town. She knew that I needed to get diverse education. And so she allowed me to go to these amazing summer camps that each year would totally change my life. That kind of started opening up the world of dance colleges for me because I did attend University of North Carolina School of the Arts. They have the longest name. (laughs) They have the longest college name. UNCSA. I went there two summers. I had the best time of my life. I learned so much, life-changing. And uh, it started to open up that world of, okay, you know, where where can I picture myself? Where where am I going to be in a couple years here? Because I'm almost a senior. Now, I do have to say, I still didn't, I still didn't take care of tasks soon enough. Okay. So I started to think about it, but I did not take action. And Uh, I just didn't, I didn't know, right? Do you know? Okay, I I didn't know. And so I'm here to tell you what those actions are in an easier time frame so you don't have to take care of all of it your senior year. Senior year of high school came and I knew I wanted to go to college for dance. Okay, now what the heck does that mean? Uh, In North Dakota, there are zero schools that offer a dance major. In the surrounding states, which are Montana, South Dakota, Montana, Wait, Montana, South Dakota, and Minnesota, and then Canada, uh, even there, it was really limited. Not Minnesota. I mean, Minnesota has Minneapolis, but that's still an eight-hour drive from my hometown. It wasn't down the block. And then Montana, the schools over there are still at least a six to eight-hour drive. And then South Dakota, which is the University of South Dakota, I don't even know that one, eight, 10, 10, 12 hours. So this was not easy with even just the the closest schools to me. It was an it was a challenge. It seems like it's just going to be apply and find out if you get in, but as a dance major, there is a lot more to it than that because there is the audition process or scholarships or um photos, resume, portfolio, all these things they've added to you guys that we didn't have to use to deal with. It is a lot more difficult on you now than it was for me because everything is more easily accessible and you are expected to up your game as well. Now it's my senior year. It's time to apply and get into school. I have been working my entire school career on this day, right? On getting into college. And now the time has come and I felt totally lost. I felt frustrated, confused, overwhelmed, and I had no idea where to begin. So the first thing I started to do was research colleges. Okay, that sounds cool. You know, research the top 20 schools in the nation. Awesome. That's where I want to be. And I was on the right track, but every single school you do that for is time consuming. And I was starting to run out of time. I had no idea what school I wanted to go to. And I, I was hoping that it would speak to me when the time came. I mean, a little hokey, I know. But in the end, it did. Okay. I wish it would have six months earlier, 
Uh, but in the end, it did speak to me. And that's one of the reasons why I feel so passionate about this podcast, about this topic, is because it will speak to you too. But I hope that it can speak to you sooner and with less stress. When I arrived at Oklahoma City University, I had that feeling in my belly of like, oh, this is this is my next, this is my home for the next four years. I It was March 26th. Saturday. So it might've been March 25th or 26th. And I knew in my belly that I would be going to this school. I still had to work really hard and get in and audition and everything. But that is when I finally got that signal, I knew. And this was after, this was the 13th school I had visited. So now that you know a little bit about me, let's dive into our topic of today's episode. Introduction to the dance college journey. The very first thing I need you to think about is why do you want to go to college for dance? If someone asks you, what's your answer? Have you thought about it yet? Or are you just like, oh, I don't know, because I'm a dancer. It's just what I do. Is it because you want a career in dance? Because you love the work ethic? Maybe because you know it's your identity and you want to be surrounded by other people who get you? Keep refining that as you are doing this research so you can grow because you're going to grow a lot in these next couple months. Now remember, every school is different. They have their different nuances. But today, this point is a general overview. So I'm just here to give you the tools to start doing your own research and feel a little bit more confident about what you're looking at. So the first thing to be aware of is, is it a two-year or four-year university? The next question is, is it a conservatory or a liberal arts? So Oklahoma City University was a liberal arts school. So that just means that we had our dance classes, but then we also had requirements for our academic classes as well. So something to look into. College is not just about dancing, but also about learning how to turn your passion into a sustainable career. I'm going to say that again, turning your passion of dance into a sustainable career, a job, a livelihood. We're not going to college for dance to become starving artists. We're going to get our career in this and to be able to do what we love every single day. So to our second point, preparing for dance college admissions. The biggest part of this is that application process, the audition process, and making sure you've turned in everything they need. You do not want to be sending things the night before or realizing you missed something and then you're nervous as hell, right? You're nervous and scared. And the best way to alleviate all that is just by doing the research, writing it down, staying organized and making sure you're doing the work. In addition to regular college applications, you need to go to the dance school's website and check out what their requirements are. So a lot of times they are looking for dance photos. Uh, They might need a dance video now beforehand where there are specific things they need to see uh, or any academic prerequisites, Um, maybe even letters of recommendation. That's important too. Again, that's one of those things where you have to think ahead of time. So that's why you're doing this today. You're not waiting and putting it off for another day. You're doing it today because you're making life for tomorrow, Brittany, or tomorrow you so much better. To our third point, setting clear goals and expectations. I can't say enough how important this is for for you as a high school senior and for you always. It's always important to set realistic goals because that is what sets your your ending point for what you're aiming for. Reach in for any shiny thing you can, then you're like me in my senior year and you're gonna waste a lot of time, money, and energy. Next to where you said why why you wanna go to college for dance, set your goals. With those goals, put some of this information in the calendar. Mark those hard deadlines and if the deadline is a certain date, make sure you mark at least a week before. Yeah, you don't want to be the last application in. What if, you know, that's when the printer breaks and that's when the internet goes down. So just make sure you really are, you are taking deadlines seriously and not allowing yourself to procrastinate. This is too important. It's too important. If you miss a deadline, you can't do anything about it for months, at least three months, and then sometimes six months. And finally, moms and dads, parents, I just want to 
remind you how important your support is on this journey for them. And the best way you can help them is to not do it for them, not take care of their applications. You're not helping your baby by coddling or doing the work for them. They're 17 or 18 years old now. They can take care of it. By setting up tools or plans or checking in to make sure they're following it, going to succeed in this application process. When they get that acceptance letter, you're going to get that first hug. All right, and that's today's episode of Dance Colleges and Careers. If you stuck around till the end, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you can get all of the updates of new episodes about navigating this college application process.